Hello and welcome to your first lesson on HTML5 with Wizard Tutorial. My name's Tom, and today we'll be introducing um, the H HTML uh, language. Uh, what's HTML stand for? It stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is HTML uh, markup language that describes uh, web pages. Uh, so basically, we write some code on a text editor, or you can use just your regular text editor on your computer. Um, but you cannot use uh, Microsoft Word or any text processing uh, type software. So I use Sublime Text, and I will show you in these tutorials how to set up Sublime Text to work HTML documents. But for right now, we're just going to focus on what HTML is. Uh, HTML start, came out back in 1991, and it was used to format uh, websites. Um, there's been several versions of HTML, and they changed over the years. XHTML was the present before HTML5, and that was around for about 14 years, and a lot of folks got comfortable using that. And then 2013-14, HTML5 came out, and that's been the standard ever since. It gives us a lot more options, a lot more flexibility over XHTML. So, for just an example, I'm going to show you a little bit of what HTML looks like. So, we got to declare HTML. We got to tell the browser that HTML is the code that we are using. And to do that, we do uh, opening bracket here, explanation point, capitalize doc type, and then HTML. And then closing bracket here. This is saying to the browser, display this document as HTML5. We're using HTML5 code. Now, if we were using um, uh, like a different markup language for, say, HTML, XHTML, I'm sorry. We would have a very long doc site, and it would be pointing to a website, uh, w3.org, and all this other stuff. Well, now they made it easy for us. All we have to do is type this to notify the browser that's what we're using. Um, so let's just take a little bit, a little closer look at some of the code that we would use. So each email, this is saying, all right, everything below this is going to be HTML code. Well, we would have to close that out and say everything contained within HTML and HTML with a backslash, everything in here. Here is our HTML code. The browser will display this stuff here as HTML code. It will read it as HTML code. It won't necessarily display it because stuff that we put in a section called head it is not displayed to the user. This just is information to the browser explaining um, about our HTML document. It gives it instructions and um, settings that we would need to use for our document to be displayed properly. Um, and inside the body, body tags here, um, this is where our content will be displayed to the user. So if we went, hello, world, this would be displayed to the user. And I can show you this by, if I save my document, I'm going to save it to my desktop, and we're going to call it, let's just call it index.html. We put HTML at the end, it's saying it's an HTML document. So let's go to my desktop, I'm going to save that, and I'm going to open it up here in a second if I figure out where I put it. And it's down here in the bottom corner. So I just double click on the HTML document, I'm going to bring this back to where it's at. And bring it over from here. Hello world, see that? Hold on. So yeah, hello world. So that's our first website. We just built our first website. Yeah, I can't access it right now from the World Wide Web, but we're on our way. 
Um, so that's basically what HTML looks like. We will dig in deeper and explain a lot more of this to you. Um, as we move along here, we'll cover everything. Like HTML, head, what goes in the head section, body section. So uh, stay tuned for more videos and we'll keep on trucking.